Hey there, Coastal Men. Chris Thomason joined by men's uh, basketball coach for Texas A&M Corpus Christi, Jim Shaw. Coach, it looks like you're on the road there. Yeah, on the road in San Antonio, Chris, at the uh, UIL State Tournament. We have a couple of signees for the 2024 class that are going to play uh, uh, in this weekend's tournament. That's awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time uh, with us today. I know it was a big week for your team. You had wins over Southeastern Louisiana, New Orleans, and UIW, all in a span of five days. You secured that double bye. So uh, I imagine it's a pretty nice vibe heading into the uh, conference tournament next week, right? Yeah, I think the guys have a, a, a extreme level of confidence uh, after three wins in, in five days and then you know, they love each other, each other and, and this only adds to that, uh, like you said, the vibe uh, around the uh, men's basketball program at Texas A&M University in Corpus Christi. You know, is it nice uh, being able to relax a little bit, uh, you know, heading into that tourney after that kind of stretch that you had? I think it's good for the guys to have a day off. So they'll have a day off today. We'll, we'll go a little bit lighter tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's, it's to get the double by, you're only 80 minutes away from March Madness, uh, get to the NCAA, double, NCAA tournament. But uh, the biggest thing is to give these guys a little bit of a rest before we, we have to uh, go into the conference tournament. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I wanted to uh, to ask you the the defense in the game last night against UIW. You know, it looked like early on the shots weren't falling, uh, but the, the the defense really helped get you guys uh, to stay in that game until the shots eventually were falling. Oh, you're absolutely correct. I think we were five of eight from the three point line in the first half versus Incarnate Word last night, and but only like five of twenty two from right around the rim. So uh, we were getting some good shots. We they weren't falling, but uh, to break the game open late in the first uh, half, and especially in the first five minutes of the second half, it was it was about defense. It was about getting turnovers and being get, getting out in transition. And at that point, we were able to get a little bit of separation. Yeah, how much can that help? You know, going into the tournament, you know, uh, a place y'all did play earlier this year, Lake Charles, but you know, you're going to be facing a team on what Wednesday that or what Tuesday Tuesday uh, that has already played on that court the day before so you know how much can that defense kind of help early yeah it's been a staple Chris of the entire season uh, defense and rebounding giving great effort being connected on both the uh, the defensive end and the offensive end uh, but yeah anytime you're on the road whether it be a neutral site game like the conference tournament or, or a road game you got you got to pack your defense and rebounding to give yourself a chance uh, early on to before you get settled in offensively. Yeah, that makes sense. And, you know, I don't want to put the uh, cart in front of the horse too much, but you guys are heading to the home court of McNeese. And, you know, this might be the last time that I talk to you until after the tournament next week. So if, and it's if, you know, again, don't want to get ahead of myself, but if you guys were to face McNeese on their home court, once again for the second straight year in the tournament. What do you think that atmosphere would be like? Yeah, you're right. It's a big if. Uh, for us to win one game in the conference tournament, it's going to take a, a, a tremendous effort. we got a number of really good teams in the, in the Southland Conference this year. But if we were to get to a, a championship game scenario where we play McNeese, it's going to be a little bit different than it was last year. I think they've sold out a number of their games. Um, and we, you would expect whoever they play in the championship to be uh, another a sellout crowd. And so uh, it'll be definitely a, a great atmosphere for college basketball and for the Southland Conference. You know, what do you think this team learned from those games against them this year? Uh, I think in the first game, we learned that we could play with them. You know, obviously it was a heartbreaking loss at the end of the American Bank Center in front of a great crowd of Islanders fans. So I think that gave us the confidence to say, hey, we can play with the, with, with these guys and then the, the second game, I think we learned, hey, you're going to have to be even tougher on the road. Uh, they out-rebounded this offense. You know, they got on the offensive glass and got 11 offensive rebounds in the first half. Um, so we're going to have to bring a level of toughness and physicality if we were to get to that point. All right, well, I'll let you get back to business there at the uh, the state tournament. The Islanders playing in the Southland Semis game in Lake Charles Tuesday night, 8 o'clock, late tip. Uh, you can see that game on ESPN+. Plus. The women, they earned a double bye as well. They will play in the semis Wednesday afternoon at 1.30, hopefully before your championship game later that day. Coach, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it, Chris. Thank you. 
All right, Coach, go have fun at the uh, the state tournament there in San Antonio. We will see you uh, Lake Charles next week. We will be following along. Good luck over there. Thank you, Chris. All right, we will see you next time on Hang Time. Thanks for joining us, Coastal Ben.